never be too careful what kinds of questions you ask because those questions will often lead to answers and those answers may actually demand something from you. And that's what I learned in my spiritual journey. I had a question that came out of a period of confusion uh, that everything that I had believed as a Christian, as a Protestant, seemed to be challenged uh, all around me as my circumstances changed. And it's interesting because it wasn't that I necessarily doubted or that I was in confusion, but as I looked around and I kept seeing so many different Christians with their Bibles sort of determining for themselves what doctrines they liked and didn't like and what interpretation of Scripture they liked or didn't like, I kept thinking that it, it can't be a free-for-all. I can't believe that Jesus intended this sort of anarchy of thought uh, around his church uh, when he prayed for unity. Oh, was that prayer for unity just wishful thinking on his part? And I, I couldn't believe that that was true. I kept wanting to believe that something else was at work. So I asked the question, and this was the big question for me, who has the authority to interpret scripture and establish doctrine? That was the big question. And to answer it, I realized I had to kind of come out of my lack of understanding of, of history and go backwards in time to the ancient church. I needed to find out what the early church believed and why they believed it. And in doing that, it opened up a whole new reality for me. Suddenly the Gospels and the Book of Acts and the New Testament took on a new life for me in answering that original question. And I realized the answer was through the apostles. Jesus had given his authority to the apostles and they passed that on to the apostles that have continued since then. Well, there's a demand behind that. What was I gonna do with that truth? What was I gonna do with the answer to my question? And I realized it was uh, very difficult because I worked for an evangelical organization and my family came from an evangelical background. And becoming Catholic would pretty much put me as playing for the other team. Uh, and yet I realized the truth demanded that I do something with it and ignoring it was not the option. I embraced that truth in the Catholic Church and decided, come what may, I would follow Christ and His church wherever they would lead.